kind, because of the kind of magma that Mount St. Helens erupts. And you know, to understand the kind of magma, you have to understand the theory of plate tectonics. And we live on a planet where we're giant, huge plates of Earth that have flowed around in a molten interior. And off the coast of Washington, we have an ocean plate that's sliding underneath Washington State. And as it slides down, it gets very hot, and remelts that plate. And all, because this is an ocean plate, there's a lot of uh, water in it, which means there's a lot of gases that are injected into this molten rock. And that makes it buoyant and float. So the gases are almost like little life preservers that make the molten rock rise upward. So we can think of a can of soda as being just like the magma underneath a volcano. We know there's gases in there, but we can't see them right until we open it up. So with Mont St. Helens, this molten rock, it starts rising up into the volcano, okay? And we got this thick toothpaste lava and it rises up, pushes up into Mount St. Helens for two months. You know, this molten rock is shoved up inside the volcano. And on the morning of May 18th, 1980, <laughs> All that <laughs> gas Wait a minute. got released from pressure. And that's what a volcanic eruption is like. It's, it's powered by gases. So Mount St. Helens, a big explosive eruption, was a lot like the big explosive eruption in, say, like Vesuvius in, in Italy. It was the same thing. It was gas bubbles that were powering this really big explosion. Okay, make it erupt over there at the trees. <laughs> Here we go. Mount St. Helens about to erupt. All that gas, all that water. All that gas. Yeah, yeah. It's ready to go. Get ready for an eruption. Here it goes. There goes the lava. And it all blew up. And you can see the gas bubbles rising right out there. That's what all that was. That was that was gas frothing out of the molten rock. See all the red dots on this map of the world? Those are volcanoes. Hundreds of them all around the planet, and many of them are erupting right at this moment. It's as though the Earth is breathing out, blowing gases contained inside the planet out through the mouths of volcanoes. It's a process that's been happening since our planet was born and will continue to happen for millions of years into the future. Volcanoes are a fact of life. This is neat. The needle on this instrument is actually trembling right now and is telling us what's going on underneath the mountain. It's almost like it's alive. These instruments are called seismographs and they're the kind of thing that scientists use to find out what's going on underground. And they make these squiggly lines. The bigger the line, the more action. And here's one here that's kind of neat because the sensor is right here in the floor. Normally they're buried underground, but this one is so sensitive that it can feel my own weight. And just watch what the needle does when I move up and down. I can make my own earthquake. <laughs> Maybe I could even be a volcanic eruption. 